One of the most important characters in the Alice books is the White Rabbit. He's the character that Alice follows into Wonderland and into all of her adventures. If it wasn't for him and his waistcoat and his um, watch, then uh, she would never enter Wonderland in the first place. Not only is he there at the beginning, but he also keeps coming back at different moments. There's a scene that happens in his house and around it in its garden. He then appears in a slightly different role in the croquet game. By this stage, his sort of role as a courtier and he's part of the, uh, of, of, of the game of cards that's happening in terms of the croquet match. And then finally, he also makes a really important appearance right at the end of the book in the trial scene. Now he's in his role as a herald or messenger who actually starts all of the proceedings by blowing three sharp blasts on his trumpet. The White Rabbit is a character that we see along with Alice more than any other character. And because he keeps reappearing, we actually see him in quite a lot of different sort of scenarios and interacting with different characters, which is quite unusual for the characters in these books. Usually we tend to see them just interacting with Alice, maybe just once or at most twice. So the fact that the rabbit keeps coming back sort of indicates to us how important he is as a character. The thing that um, really grabs Alice's attention is the fact that he is quite a snappy dresser. He's very smart. At some point, Lewis Carroll actually describes him as being splendidly dressed. And we can see right at the beginning that he's wearing this wonderful waistcoat and jacket. He's holding onto an umbrella and peering at his pocket watch. The White Rabbit's really interesting because he's one of the only characters, in fact he is the only character in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland who changes outfit. So we see him in this nice smart outfit at the beginning of the book. When he gets to the trial scene, he's wearing much more formal court dress and he's a herald or messenger. And he has a really important role at this point where he um, blasts three blasts on his trumpet and the whole of the proceedings of the trial begin at that point. So the fact that he changes outfit sort of marks him out as being quite special. When we see in that final image, he's right down there in the corner and he's leaving the image. And by this point, he's not wearing any clothes at all. And this is a really sort of clever and important signal on the illustrator's part to tell us that Alice is returning to her ordinary world where rabbits don't wear waistcoats. Another really key Thing about the White Rabbit is that he has his own signature sound. This is a uh, character who, whenever we hear certain words or read certain words or hear them in our heads, we know that he's about to make an appearance. And those words are a little pattering of feet. So there's a sort of preparation happening in the words through the use of sound for us to know who it is that we can expect to be encountering again. And the rabbit is interesting from the point of view of sound also because he's one of the characters that makes sound on two really um, important occasions. Once when he goes crashing into a cucumber frame, which is a bit like a greenhouse. And then finally in the trial scene at the end of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, where he is actually the character who starts the proceedings with three blasts on his trumpet. So he's a character that brings Alice into Wonderland, but he's also one of the characters that shows her departure from it. The White Rabbit is, in terms of his character, is one stressed out bunny. He's constantly worried about losing things and about being late. And the way that Lewis Carroll shows us this in the story is that he's always being referred to as scurrying to places and hurrying to places. So the white rabbit, his, his single most kind of obvious feature and trait is that he is just really, really, really nervous and flustered and terrified of what is going to happen to him.